and we can't come back again. This is it. This was our one and only chance. David just couldn't take it anymore. We're going to be deep self-stranded in Denali. Yeah. We're not going to be able to get out. No. So. Now, since when do I freak about water? <laughs> well, I don't know. Like every other day. <laughs> We're off to We're tech. We're off to maroon ourselves in the middle of nowhere. He's looking for something. He's in a pattern. Nika campground. I do feel lucky. <laughs> do you now? Yes, we don't know what site, but we have a site reserved for us. Do you just want to go the loop? Yeah, I think so. Check it out. See what it looks like. So there was green status for tech. Mm -hmm. uh, in the bus depot. Oh, okay. Meaning that they had availabilities. So, so one through 27. So let's check this one out. One way. And we'll see what uh, they look like. The sites are definitely bigger than others. So it's... north is that way. Okay. The sites are very well groomed. Uh, they really are, and they're nicely spaced. Yes. Well, that's a nice site right there. We made it to our site, number 33 in tech something or another. <laughs> and they were right. It took us right at an hour and a half, and that was with a bear stop. So David's setting up. We're going to do our inaugural camping, backpacking, outback meal. That's right which we don't have very often, so this is sort of special. Very special for us. We're going to have hot dogs. <laughs> that sounds so pathetic. That does. Not steak, not shrimp. Hot, hot dogs. dogs. But here at uh, Tech, mm -hmm. we're here for a week. No dump, no fill. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I think though. we'll be fine. Well, we may be out in the wilderness, but we're not without some amenities. The Tech campground actually has Recycling, garbage, and if you don't want to use your own facilities, pit toilets. And these look new. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I think though. we'll be fine. One bike down and one to go. They're dusty. Dusty, very dusty. You. Good thing we have these covers. Yeah, it, it uh, saves it from most of the dust. Yeah. All right, even though we don't have our Jeep with us, doesn't mean we can't go anywhere in tech. Right. So there's a bus station shelter right at the beginning of the campground. And that's where we're walking to to go catch, catch the, the bus. bus. And they, uh, they leave about every 30 minutes. So we think we've timed it right. Yeah. Oops, here it is, gotta go.
All right, at the end of the line, we're gonna take a quick break and then we're gonna get back on the bus. The next two years, as far as you can go, they're uh, rebuilding the uh, road that was washed out from the landslide. A little windy today. If you came in with Rex and would like to leave with the same bus, it's time to board. There you go. All right. We made it. Yeah. Off the bus. Yeah. Woo! So I read at the bus depot on the FAQ bulletin board that the transport drivers are transport only. They're not tour bus drivers. And they can and cannot, depending on their discretion, they want to stop. Well, this guy was fantastic. Rex was amazing because if there was, he was looking around for wildlife, I think more than anybody else. Yep, we and spotted quite a bit. Spotted nice. a lot, my goodness. Very nice. So we're gonna get back home, mm -hmm. relax for a little bit and see what uh, we wanna do for the rest of the yeah. daylight hours. <laughs> Which is like <laughs> 10 more hours. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> well, we just finished our 17.1 mile bike ride and right as we were pulling in, it started to sleep just a little bit. We thought it felt a little cold, but it was weird. So I am so ready for a hot shower and some chai. Oh yeah, hot chai. Mm -hmm. it's, look at all that. I know, I gotta get the bike You covered. better hurry and get inside. <laughs> Today we are going to attempt, I'm not promising, that we're going to go from the Teclanica, I'll get it right one of these days, campground, <laughs> to the um, Sable Pass. So it's about 10 miles and a net, not gross, net 1500 foot elevation climb. So batteries have been charging the bikes for what, almost 24 hours? Almost 24. They feel heavier. <laughs> So hopefully that'll get us up there. Normally I carry water in my water bottle, but today and every day that we're here in the park, I am carrying the bear spray.
So one of the cool things about bicycling in Denali is the fact that you've got the road to yourself. You do. Except for a couple of buses now and then, but yeah. right now we hear nothing. We hear the wind, we hear the birds chirping. It's really nice. It's just, the view's incredible. Yeah, so it's almost like our park in a lot of areas when we're cycling. It's mm -hmm. so cool. It is. Man. Just, wow. All by ourselves. Really nice. Hope we don't get stranded. No, our Mechanical batteries... breakdown. <laughs> our batteries took all its gas to get up to this point. Now I know. It's, it's all downhill except for two little spots. So hopefully we're going to have enough gas to get us up those spots. Hopefully. Look, I caused a caribou jam. Woohoo! Woo yeah. We were talking as we were riding how it's really cool to be here in Denali biking. I mean, just listen. We can hear the river, the birds. Yeah. I mean, we're all by ourselves here. Yep, literally, because we're not seeing any animals. Yeah, we're not seeing any animals. We saw a golden eagle just a little while ago, but... Um, and some doll sheep, okay. Well, that's but, true. Um, but yeah, it's it's surreal. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys can hear this, the sounds of Denali. It's I don't know. Kind of nerdy. Yeah. Pretty cool. Very cool. So at every hour on the hour, all vehicles are supposed to stop to allow the sheep to cross in peace and quiet. Now why they think this is going to work, they instituted this last year. So you see all over the continental U.S. and Canada that everywhere there's the animal crossing signs. They never use them, so why do they think they're going to use this? David is gearing up for the downhill. We've got about nine miles up the hill. We know from experience it's going to be cold going downhill. Back from our bike ride and I'm going to say these are game changers. <laughs> yeah. No, these are really nice to have. They are. Uh, I thought it was really frivolous and I didn't want you to spend the money to get them. 
Yeah. But when we got them for the truck, not the helmets, but we got the... We got the headsets, the Cena headsets yeah. for the truck, and they're Bluetooth. They're wonderful. Great range, and they're really nice. And you can and uh, just talk over talk, you know, or whatever it's called. Yeah, you don't have to push a button and wait yeah. for someone to answer. Yeah. It's, it's a real time. Real yeah. time. Yeah, open mic. So yeah. really nice. So when I found these uh, online yeah. and got a, actually a pretty good price on Amazon, mm -hmm. Uh, they're Cena bicycle helmets, yeah. and they have the same technology, uh -huh. so we can talk to one another. Right, and we don't have to be right next to each other. Now, I don't know the mic. Oh, I guess the microphone is right here, and the yeah. um, speakers are right here, and they work great, and they have a phenomenal range. Yeah, even when so, it's windy. Yeah, and yesterday, nice. I think we were like not even a quarter of the way into our bike ride, and I got the low battery, but it still worked the entire Man, three for another hours, hour, three, hour and a half, two three hours, hours, three hours. Yeah. yeah. So, um, um, but these, the range wasn't as good when yeah, the batteries are low. That's but, true. But man, these these are great. Yeah, so. really like them. Uh, stay in constant contact communication, which mm -hmm. is great, and uh, they're on the Amazon store if you just want to look at them. But uh, really nice. Yeah. I'm gonna take a little hike today and <laughs> we're getting off our butts. We're getting <laughs> literally. <laughs> Even though we've been active, we've been on our butts on the bikes. Yeah, so we thought we we're gonna take a bus ride today, a little adventure, and yeah. get outside the park. Sort of the permitted area. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do a little hike today. So I've got our tech passes, uh -huh. we got our backpacks. And DEET, yeah, just, just in, in case. Because today's not windy at all. Yeah, now the mosquitoes have been really almost non-existent. Because it's been windy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we'll see what today's like, but uh, starting out to be nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. It does look a little full. Let's see what... Oh, there might be a few. So starting our hike on the Savage River Loop Trail. And Sandra is starting her pictures. <laughs> Busted! <laughs> so it's about two miles. Nice little jaunt. So Denali's kind of unique in that there's only a couple of, we'll say designated trails in a park that's maybe Power. six million square miles. It's a lot. Something like that. So yeah, not that many trails, maybe five. Because if you're in the gravel road where we are at Tech, there's no trails and they don't want trails. They want you just to get out there and hike wherever. That's right, never follow a social trail. Right, and don't ever step in the same spot twice. So if you go in and out, look at all the flowers right here. We have a bevy of flowers. Now I can't step on any of the tundra here, I'll get in trouble. That's right, I'm videoing too. Very good. I hate things for long arms. <laughs> it's kind of kind of unique with no trails. And uh, so we're on one of the few designated trails they kind of call them social trails but this is an actual maintained trail so yeah a couple miles temperatures in the 50s today a little breezy so but it's a nice day sun's trying to peek out don't know if it's going to make it and you want it to be breezy yes because no mosquitoes then it's pretty nice actually We're peeling off. You can tell that we're hiking a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I think we took a wrong turn. Yeah. But I'm it's bleeding. it's a really 
pretty wrong turn. Sandra negotiating the wrong turn. She did it. Woo! Oh my gosh, were you videoing that? Yes. Well, ah, no con. Did my hand? Yeah, no content though. So, for the record, I always like to take the high road. David, on the other hand, he always likes to take the more complicated road. But man, it's just, it's gorgeous out here. All right, so Sandra thinks that we're on a mountain trail. I think, if I don't break my neck, I think this, it said the end of the maintained trail. This trail looks pretty well maintained. It looks pretty well used and maintain yeah so we'll see what the sign says hopefully we haven't been illegal negotiating our way back down the non-maintained trail or the mountain trail <laughs> we'll find out okay maintain trail Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're done with our hike. You had to video this part. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but we're on paved road. Yeah. Yeah, so our tickets for the tech pass. It's not good for paved road. That's right. We got to get to gravel, which is right there. Right there. So, and we've come from back there. And I'm not going a step further. <laughs> Sandra's like, you're going to pick me up on the gravel because that's where our ticket is good for. Right. And I'm going to gravel and that's it. Tech. So one's tech, one's camping. And one's stopping. Oh, what's he see? I don't know. Letting somebody off, getting somebody on. Get your cameras ready, put your windows down. Stay inside the bus. It's kind of like a super highway is for us. But you can see in this water channel, both types, both supplies of water. You've got the blue and green, and you've got the clear. Look a little full. Certainly, certainly. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you very much. Certainly, certainly. All right, off the bus. Short walk. Back to our campsite. Actually, and the walk's gonna feel good after sitting for a couple actually, of hours. Actually, really will. Bus. So, all right, nice, and uh, it's not raining, so nice evening. It was. When you are done with that, 
Yes. <laughs> We're at a good point. I need to see how much water we have. Water. Yes. Yeah, it'd be nice if our uh, display would actually accurately tell us. Yeah, everything is 67%. Yeah, and it has been 67 for days. So this is how we check our water yeah. tip. So this is our last day. We've had six amazing days inside uh, Denali. <gasps> oh my gosh. So David uh, filled the tank up and then measured everything and put these tick marks. So we're just a little bit below 50%. 50%. So I think we're doing okay. Yep, but it's our last day. Last day. We'll tomorrow. We've had some good showers after all our hikes and bike rides. So, yeah. so that means I get to do some meal prepping. That's right. Homemade stuff. stuff. What are you making? All right, so I am going to make some Tuscan tomato, creamy tomato soup because... Ooh, we went, yummy. Yeah, so we went to the grocery store the other day, um, or last week, we had to buy two and a half pounds of tomatoes, and we didn't go through hardly any of them. So a good way to get rid of tomatoes is um, to make tomato soup. So you just take tomatoes, and I've got... Oh, we don't have rosemary, so I'm having to use basil. And um, <laughs> we don't have chicken broth, so I'm having to use... Uh, bouillon cubes, but um, what's really nice is you use uh, white beans and that where I'm going to puree them and then onions and that's all. Oh, you're deviating. I'm having to deviate. Oh, I bet you're loving that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also a nice little trick. These are, I call these little things my tomato turds because the recipe, a lot of recipes call for tomato paste. So what I do is I take a can of tomato paste and I measure out um, one one tablespoon and then I, I freeze them. And then, like, this recipe calls out for uh, two tablespoons, so I'm just going to put that in, and then I'm just going to cook all this up and blend it up, and then we're going to have tomato soup for the next, Couple I don't know how days. long, because we're dumping and filling tomorrow. Yep. We've got a little less than 50% water, so I'm going to just try and get all this meal prepping done. Good job. Because we're going to go to the Arctic Circle next. And I don't know what kind of supplies we're going to have. So Not I many. <laughs> so I do want to try and get as many meals as I can prepare just to, to ease things. Because I don't want to spend another $7 a gallon for milk. Yep, very true. Yeah, so. All right. Meal prep day. Yep. So most... Virtually all national parks and state parks have generator hours. Ooh. We're not always around when those generator hours start. So what we had to do is we had to kind of trick our system. Now it's great we have an auto gen start system, but we've hooked up our lithiums and this is reading our AGMs. So we've got to kind of trick the system. So what we've done is we've turned off the charger to the AGMs, let them get down to... 12.2% and uh, I mean volts or or v volts and then uh, and then the AGM system will start it at 12.5 so that tricks when it. it's not quiet hours when it's not quiet right. we just set the quiet hours here and then it starts right so then what you do is uh, as soon as the generator turns on we turn on the breaker for the AGMs to charge the AGMs back up exactly yeah that's how we're tricking the system <laughs> Oh man, I think it's time to go.